What's up, everybody? This is Symphonia Fan 64 here, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy 1 Dawn of Souls. Now, in the last part, we completed the entire Hellfire Chasm by defeating the Autarch of Flame, otherwise known as Rubicante. So now it is time to move on to the next secret dungeon that resides within this game. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's try to find the next dungeon. And I know exactly where it is. Okay, first off, in order to reach this dungeon, you have to go there by ship. And, if I recall correctly, I think my ship is back here at the Ryukan Desert. Let's see here. Yep, there it is! And now I have to go through the tedious process of sailing back to it. But I'm just going to show you where you can find it. Alright, back on my ship. Uh, I'm probably going to encounter some enemies. Yep. Alright, then. Continue sailing onward. Staying close to the continent. Uh, are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? Shut up! Yeah, it's funnier if I have somebody else watching this video with me. Uh, we're almost there. Alright. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's the entrance to the next dungeon. So all of those people who thought, well, maybe I should avoid this. Nope. That's where our next dungeon is. So we go in, and we are in the Life Spring Grotto. Which you probably all knew for this, if you remember back when I first showed this off. So let's talk to this mermaid again. The water flowing from the grotto is pure once more. Who knows? Maybe someday I'll fall in love with a man and come to live here. Duh. Duh. Aww, that's so sweet! And enough with the mushy shop stuff, let's go in. And we're arriving in our first floor. Now, before I begin, mostly this dungeon will consist of floors that are a reference to the Sunken Shrine. But here we are in a floor that is a little mini-quester, like a little mini-game or something. So right behind us is Dark Bahamut. Yes, this is Dark Bahamut, not regular Bahamut. Dark Bahamut, who will make his later appearance as a boss in future Final Fantasy games. So, what does he have to say, you ask? Well, let's find out. Welcome. Here, the bold are tested to see whether they are fit to advance beyond. If you would, then proceed. You must first face my disciples. Red Dragon, 1. White Dragon, 2. Holy Dragon, 2. Defeat them and you may pass. Speak to me again if you wish to know how many you've defeated. Okay, so if you didn't get any of that, let me rephrase. Pretty much, in order to advance, you need to defeat the, n the number of enemies and the certain enemies that Dark Bahamut said you need to defeat. But, seeming as you don't know which ones are which, you'll probably be forced into fighting random ones. Uh, I pretty much will be cutting out all the random ones, but I will be showing off... Um... Pretty much showing off, off the ones I haven't shown. The, pretty much I'll be doing, like, the same thing as I do with random battles. God, I'm failing with this video. So let's start with this one right here. And we come across a new enemy known as the Green Dragon. I think I might not have shown these guys off if I haven't. No, I haven't. I remember, it's the Blue Dragons I showed up. Okay, here are the Green Dragons. Pretty much, these guys are kind of like the Blue Dragon, except they use the Poison Gas attack. Dragon farts. Yay! See, there they go. Ew. But they don't take too long to kill. They're pretty easy by now. Alright. That's not one of the dragons we need to find. We need to find a red dragon, two white dragons, and two holy dragons. 
Oh, and if ever you get confused or lost, uh, all you have to do is go back to Dark Bahamut and he will repeat which ones you have to kill. So, yeah. Alright, let's try this one. Oh, ah, here we go. Here is the Holy Dragon. Now, a little bit of warning with this, guys. These guys are no pushovers. These guys, as they say in their name, will cast the Holy Spell. Unfortunately, I have to fight two of these guys. Fortunately, I found one. That's not to say there are probably more around here. So, be warned. These guys will kick your ass if you are unprepared. And they're practically the most strongest dragon you will encounter. You will encounter here, or in the next dungeon, that is strong. I cannot speak to that I'm not taking any chances. And it's dead! Holy crap! Oh, and I got a dry ether out of that! Sweet! So that's one wh holy dragon down. Let's talk to this one. That was a dragon I already fought before. Alright, let's try you. Nope. You. Okay, that last dragon I fought was a holy dragon, so we've completed the holy dragon requirements. Now all I need to do is find two white dragons and two red dragons. Or two white dragons and one red dragon. Alright. That wasn't either of them. Same sprite, but not the same. I'll try over here. Nope. Nine. Oh, I've oh, I'm completely spacing out. Here's a new type of dragon that I need to show off. The Black Dragons. Now, pretty much the Black Dragons... Pretty much don't really do anything, but they really have a... Really high defense. So... People like Felicia or Logan will probably not dent their high. But for guys like Joel and myself... We could dish out some pretty good damage, and wow, we suck. But Logan was there with the finishing blow. That's embarrassing. Uh, this is harder than I thought. All right, let's try you. Ooh, and here comes another new dragon we haven't fought against. This is the yellow dragon. Now. Like the blue dragon, this one will cast Thunderbolt. But unfortunately, it's not one of the dragons we need to kill. And like the blue dragon, it is easily dispatched. So let's try this one. Alright, we... That dragon was a red dragon, so all we need now is to fight two white dragons. Alright. First I'm gonna heal myself. Yeah, sorry if I'm not really into it right now. No, oh, I think all my uh, energy was drained early on this morning. That should do it. Alright, come here, you. Nope, that wasn't it, but... Felicia grew to level 61! Wow, this part's taking forever, and I'm only on the first floor! Okay, well, thank God that was a white dragon. All I need to do is find one more. Oh, glory hallelujah! I found the last white dragon. Now I can get the hell out of here. Holy crap, 12 minutes it took me to find this host. Also, by the way, Joel grew to level, but oh my god. Heal, and then... I see that you are indeed worthy of proceeding. You are free to pass. But remember this. The real trial is only just beginning. And he means it! You hear a lock spring in the distance. 
Oh, he meant it, because trust me, the Life Spring Grotto has to be one of the hardest dungeons He's here. So now, yeah, if you try to go down here before completing the task, it'll just say the door's locked. Let's go down these stairs. And, okay, this isn't a floor that is reminiscent of the Sunken Shrine. This is a floor reminiscent of the Marsh Cave. What the hell is this doing here? Should I even question it? I think they pretty much screwed up. As I was trying to say, I think Square Enix got a little lazy in designing floors. I mean, granted. I mean, granted, it's a pretty good floor, but seriously, when I go into like some place that is called the Life Spring Grotto, I'm expecting to see something, you know, reminiscent of the Sunken Shrine. Not the Marsh Cave. Those two have nothing in common. And I screwed up that. It's just stalling for time. Alrighty then. Heading on down. By the way, if you're all wondering why I'm cutting out a lot of parts, it's because I'm going up against enemies I've already fought and already have showed off, so. Continuing on. Ooh, here's some new enemies we haven't come across. The Revenants. Pretty much this is this dungeon's version of the zombies, or the ghouls, I think. Oh, I hit lucky number sevens. Bad, this game doesn't have that reward. And I actually figured out what that does. I think if you hit 777 in like Final Fantasy 7, all your attacks become 777. I think that's what it was. I think all later attacks, other than magic or summon, are 777. Every physical attack that that character does is going to be 777. Alright, clearing the exit of this floor, and we're going to open up this treasure chest, and we get an ether. Yeah, and then saying what... Yeah, I know, I'm falling behind in saying what's certain things and what's not, I'm really failing, and I apologize. And, okay, seriously, this has nothing to do with the Sunken Shrine! Uh, yes, but we're in a floor that is reminiscent of the Ice Cave. Why is this here? Don't ask. I don't know. Uh, but open up this chest and we get 3,000 gil. Alright, going down here, there's the exit, but there's still some more treasure chests. Alright, head down here. Alright, there seems to be nothing over here. I think I'm making the map wrong. I guess I'm looking at a map. But how can you not? And I can't hold any more items, so... It's either a potion, a high potion, or a phoenix down. So I'm gonna use a potion. Nope. Oh, yeah, it was a potion! <laughs> I guessed right! Alright, let's see what's over in this chest. And we get a spider silk! Alright then, now to leave this floor because that's all we can do here. Alright. And there's the exit. Alright. And... FINALLY! FINALLY! I'm on a floor that's reminiscent of the Sunken Shrine! About frickin' time! Jesus! <sighs> but uh, let's go over where we can find certain items. And we come across a new enemy known as the Death Elemental. Which is pretty much just like the Air Elementals. They have no weakness, and they're practically the same sprite, just color different. 
Real original, Square Enix. Real original. I've been doing this for how long until you got to the 3D games? Not that I'm saying that's a bad thing, and by the way, I grew a level in. Back then, Joel grew a level, so. We're all level 61 now. Hooray! Alright. Alright, let's see what's inside this treasure chest. And we get an ether! Alright, I believe up here. Alright. Alright, here's another treasure chest, and it contains a speed drink! I gotta go back to my items, seeming as I use that spider silk. Alright. I have to continue down here. As I was saying, we have to continue down onward. There's nothing in this door. I also would like to mention that the Life Spring Grotto is one of the most tedious dungeon floors I have, dungeons I have ever been in. Just want to make that known. All right, here's another treasure chest, and we can't hold any more items. Again, it's either a potion, a high potion, or a phoenix stamp. I'm use a potion, and I was wrong this time. It's not another potion. Oh, just forget about that chest and move on to the exit. Which is... Over here! Let me go over here and we've reached the next boss floor, ladies and gentlemen. This is the next boss floor. So, I'm going to end this part off here and in the next part we'll be fighting one of four bosses that reside within this dungeon. Hmm fought bosses from Final Fantasy 3 and 4 so far, so I wonder which Final Fantasy game bosses we'll be fighting now. Well, all those questions may or may not be answered in the next part of Final Fantasy 1 Dawn of Souls. So, I'm going to end off this part here, and I will see you all in the next part. Until then, this is Symphony Fan 64 signing off.